hello there, laddie. Better late than never, eh? What are you staring at me like that for? It is your physique, Lord Robert. <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor, Erdwin. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Henrik, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Please think nothing of it, my lord. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. Thank you. Truly. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said old Erdwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mordigan off his perch. As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there'll know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. Honored Luminary, we disciples of Angula will do all that we can to aid you in. We have even devised a special training regime for you. that ends well.
Not bad at all. Stay down. Dog yet.
down. <laughs> that man is in danger. We must go to his aid. <laughs> oh no, you don't, honey. Not unless you want to carry those claws home in a bag. <laughs> huh? Don't say I didn't warn you. Silvando, <laughs> 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 darling, you were fabulous. So fierce. Fierce doesn't even begin to describe it. You were ferocious. <laughs> Can it be? Can it truly, truly be? Truly, truly, truly? It is. I think it really is. Darling. It's so wonderful to see you. Um, you two are acquainted? And uh, w w what is it that you do, exactly? Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? We're fighting an epic battle to bring back something the world has lost. That's right, darlings. We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab world. My little parade has picked up quite the cavalcade of warriors for wondrousness. But never mind that now. I can't believe you're alive. It's a miracle. Uh, excuse me? Honey, I'm so sorry I forgot all about you. Are you okay? No, no, I am not. Thanks to you. You are more strong than you appear. My name is Da. I come from Phnom Non in the south. Oh, you're heading home. Then we better go with you. Can't have you getting attacked again now, can we? Hmm? Listen, darling, you and me have got a lot to talk about. So what do you say you join the parade for a little while, huh? Oh, yay! I'm so excited! Okay, time for you to take your first steps as a soldier of the smile-spreading special forces. Here, put these on. No, oh, you look even more adorable than I thought you would. So proud. All right, boys. Let's make our newest recruit feel right at home. Yeah! <laughs> Lead on, darling! And 
Don't let me cut you frowning. All right, let's get out there and make the world smile. And here we are at our destination. Oh, not here, too. Um, thank you for saving me. I... I must go now. I wonder what can have made him venture so far from home in the first place. Might it have something to do with why the town is so quiet? Mm, sounds like a job for Sylph's detective agency. Leave this to me. Agents of happiness, soldiers of smile, Go spread some special parade cheer and find out what's going on around here. <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> Why can I not shake the feeling that Silvando and I have met somewhere before?
Da, you are okay. You are not hurt. Oh, what a relief. I was fearing the worst for you, especially after little son has gone missing, you know. Your boy is missing? Oh, honey. Ugh. Where that selfish child chooses to go is none of my concern. You must forgive him. His wife died recently, you know, and now his son has gone missing. Do you know of the monster Avarith? We were paralyzed with fear and could not run away. Give me your valuables, she said. People were so scared. They obeyed her without thinking. They gave her money, husbands, wives, even children. But the wicked creature lied to us. She did not protect the things we gave to her. No, she took them and ran away. Oh, that's just awful. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's dirty, rotten liars. Really? But Avarith is very strong. Oh, it'll take more than a common thief to stop me. A knight. Avarith went south with everything she stole. Then let's get after her! is its own reward. Ho ho! I'm fitter than ever! Hi there, little one. We're just off to hunt down the horrible, nasty monster who's been kidnapping people from the village. Is your father named Da, by any chance? Hmm. 
So you were not abducted? And what are you doing in such a dangerous place? <laughs> my father does not care for me. He cares for my mother's necklace more than anything else. He told the monster so. I thought he would say I was the most precious thing to him. It made me very sad. So I decided to follow the monster and get the necklace back for him. Then he will see that I'm worth something. But then I strayed too far from the village and became scared. So I stopped here to hide. What your father said was upsetting, I am sure. But this is no place for a child. Come, we will return you to the village. No! If you are going after the monster, I am coming with you. <sighs> oh, don't be such a spoil sport, Hendry. We'll look after the little darling. Very well. But the boy is your responsibility. Thank you! Thank you! I will be useful to you, I promise. The monster went that way. You heard him, everybody! Let's go teach that dirty bandit a lesson! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Surprise! Not many humans wander in here of their own accord. Avarice, you fiend! You are going to give back what you've taken. <laughs> so that is why you are here! Still, I suppose you have shown a lot of courage coming here. Very well. Let's say I do give everything back. It's not going to happen for free. You're going to have to give me something to sweeten the deal. Hmm. How about... Your most valued possession? That seems like a fair trade. Wait! If you wish to make a deal, fiend, you must make it with me. I have something for you. Something soft and warm and fragrant. Something I just know you are going to love. Oh, what is it? What is it? It sounds amazing! With pleasure. I do hope it brings you joy. Let me see, let me see! Ugh, what is that awful smell? You! You! Do you think this is some kind of joke? Oh, don't you like it, honey? I chose it especially for you. <laughs> you pay for this. Avarice will not be mocked by a silly, dumb-up little human. Maybe this will teach you a lesson. <laughs> Bother begging for mercy.
out of it. What you get for being a nasty, greedy girl. Everybody, are you okay? You are not hurt. <laughs> we are fine thanks to you, our brave little son. Avarith only kept us prisoner. She did not hurt us. Saved us. I I do not know how to thank you. Fair maiden, a smile will more than suffice. <laughs> Here it is! My mother's necklace! Oh, but. It is broken. Oh, of course it won't, you silly boy. Mm -hmm. Didn't your daddy ever tell you it's the thought that counts? It could be smashed to pieces and you'd still be his little hero. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. All right. 
Time to take Son and the others back to the village in style. Come, darlings, your parade awaits. You take your time, honey. We'll be having all kinds of fun. Ciao for now.